We have some exciting news from Air China. The carrier will return to South America in April. In doing so, the airline will offer the world's longest one-stop service. This twice-weekly operation between Beijing capital and Sao Paulo via Madrid will mainly target the large Brazilian Chinese community in the country's most populous city. Let's look at this flight as well as 10 of the longest one-stop 787 routes. Examining all schedules using Sirium information from May to August 2024 indicates that the table shown here will be the world's longest one-stop, same plane and same flight number services on Boeing 787 aircraft. Distances are taken from GC map and thus may be longer when considering airspace considerations and routing due to weather. Notice the significant drop-off in the distance after the eighth entry. It's also interesting that only two 7878 routes made the cut. Some exciting routes such as Aero Mexico's Mexico City Monterrey Sol and KLM's Amsterdam Buenos Aires Santiago are too short to be included. Go back further, we can see other airlines at some point in time operated such services. Korean Air operated Seoul Los Angeles Sao Paulo. Japan Airlines, Tokyo Narita, New York JFK, Sao Paulo, Singapore Airlines, Singapore Barcelona, Sao Paulo, Malaysia Airlines operated Kuala Lumpur, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Buenos Aires. Later, it was only Kuala Lumpur, Cape Town, Buenos Aires. And finally, now defunct airline Varig flew from Sao Paulo to Los Angeles to Tokyo Narita. Going back to the main topic of this video, only Air China has linked China with South America. It began operating via Madrid in December 2006, initially deploying the Boeing 767 on the route before switching to the Airbus A330-200. The much more fuel-efficient 7879 appeared in 2017 and ran until the pandemic. Now it's coming back. Running from China and Spain on Thursdays and Sundays, you can see the scheduling here with all times local. Going from start to finish? Well, it'll take nearly 26 hours to reach Brazil and about 22 and a half hours to reach China. Booking data shows that around 198,000 round-trip passengers flew between Sao Paulo and China in 2019. This equates to an average of 542 passengers daily. Of course, Air China wasn't the only airline offering such connections. Indeed, people flew via Dubai with Emirates, Doha with Qatar Airways, Addis Ababa with Ethiopian, Paris Charles de Gaulle with Air France, and of course, Madrid with Air China. Funnily enough, Sao Paulo-Beijing traffic was only half the volume of Sao Paulo-Shanghai, but Beijing capital is Air China's hub. So what do you think about it all? Have you ever flown from China to South America or vice versa? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.